This is what paradise looks like, if you're a forest elephant. This small clearing in the forest of the Central African Republic is such a popular gathering place for elephants that the locals named it the Zangabai, meaning the village of elephants. But now, there's trouble in paradise. Last month, poachers armed with automatic weapons entered this protected area in the Zanga Indoki National Park, slaughtering at least 26 elephants and hacking off their tusks. The trade in illegal ivory is booming as demand, particularly in Asia, increases and prices skyrocket. The Zangabai, where as many as 200 elephants gather daily, is a tempting target for poachers. Two years ago, I went to the Zangasanga Reserve to see firsthand this unique forest elephant habitat. I met up with Andrea DiCarlo of the Wildlife Conservation Society who's been coming here for more than 20 years. She explained the main attraction of the bai to elephants. They're looking for minerals below the surface because this area is very unique in its geology. And when you see them pumping down through the surface water, they're looking for that mineral rich layer, which is below the sandy surface. They're actually looking for minerals probably to buffer um, poisons in their diet because the, although the for in the forest there's a lot of vegetation, a lot of the vegetation, say like tree leaves, they contain secondary compounds, which aren't really palatable, but the elephants really have no choice, so they eat it, but they need a way to buffer and digest this material, and that's what they do. They seem to be addicted to it. They're definitely addicted. I mean, some days they spend all day here. An equally important reason so many elephants splash around in the Zonga Bay is the security they enjoy. The elephants can sense this reserve this clearing is a safe haven. But even here, they're aware of poachers and gunfire in other parts of the country. It's apparent when a tree falls, the sound, like the crack of a rifle, sends these big animals running for cover into the woods. When the poachers brought their killing to this sanctuary last month, the elephants scattered. Park guards, conservation groups had helped put in place, also had to seek safety elsewhere. No one was sure what would happen next. National Geographic explorer and resident Mike Fay, who was working in the nearby country of Gabon, decided the only way to get any answers and perhaps get the military to agree to protect the park was to go there himself. Mike told me he met with the leader of the government troops in the area and got his promise that the elephants would be protected. He kept on saying to me, you know, you, you will only see one face here. There's not two faces. So if I'm telling you I will protect these elephants, you can believe that I will protect these elephants. And if anybody tries to kill elephants here, you know, they will pay the consequences. And so... And he told you he would protect the elephants. Yeah, and he is. He has been for the last two and a half weeks. It's a tenuous truce in the conservation wars any time elephants are involved, given the big dollars their tusks bring on the black market. But for the moment, Mike Fay believes this special place is again a sanctuary for forest elephants. And the elephants must believe it as well, because they've begun returning to the Zangabai.